Hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of Ask Brian. Uh, let's take a look. Brian, I recently got a brand new laptop and want to make sure it lasts. My last laptop had ended up having major issues such as shutting down, slowing down, the fan would always be running, and many other issues after just two years of use. What can I do to make sure this laptop lasts for a much longer time? Good question. Um, so laptops are quite interesting these days. Um, I mean, they've always been, but... Uh, today you'll notice a lot of laptops have more of a focus on their cooling system, you know, on the little like metal parts inside that help like radiate the heat away from the laptop. Um, so I'm going to give you just a bunch of different ideas and concepts, uh, and then you can go from there. So uh, when a laptop randomly just shuts down or it's slowing down or even the fan running, you know, all these things kind of tell me that one of the symptoms could be that the fan was either clogged or covered in dust or... Uh, you just put it in an environment where it didn't work well. So uh, some basic tips and tricks. The first thing I always recommend is to get a cooling pad. Uh, it's a small flat platform that you place the laptop on top of, and it usually has a USB cable that plugs in. And there's fans inside that help generate air to pull the heat away from your laptop. The less heat that your laptop is exposed to, the longer it will last. Uh, you know, within reason. Don't put it in the freezer. Uh, so by getting a cooling pad, you know, whenever your laptop has to do a lot of work, it not only has its own internal cooling system, but it also has this pad underneath that helps air move a lot more free and generously. That's the first thing that I always tell people. You know, it's a $20 investment. They work great. Um, you know, they usually look neat. They have uh, lights attached to them and... You know, it's just, and the fans are silent. So really you could have that do all the cooling so your fan never really needs to kick off and that way there's less situations where it causes issues. Uh, you know, some other things about a laptop, you should never put it on top of your bed or anything like that. Your bed has blankets, cloth, soft material. That can block airflow and it can keep the heat insulated. So again, we spoke about heat and heat is a major issue. Uh, so that will, it just wears down your components faster and faster. Um, you know, try to keep your laptop out of a dust environment, uh, which may mean just, you know, doing dusting with a vacuum once a month, maybe, you know, just to get all that stagnant air out. Uh, an air filter, you know, like a fan that filters out dust, wonderful, wonderful investment. Uh, it removes a lot of the stuff that usually just kind of settles on a desk and then gets sucked up into the uh, laptop. Uh, some other things to keep in mind. You know, other issues, uh, one of the bigger issues that I always notice is the power pin for a laptop. So, for example, uh, one of these, you know, this plugs into a laptop. A lot of people will actually stretch this across their table or their kitchen or living room so they can use it somewhere convenient. And then this, when it's plugged in, is pulled, and that pulling can damage not only the charging pin, but it can also damage the receiving pin of the laptop, which is not a great thing. Thing. Uh, because once that breaks, your laptop stops being able to charge, and you got to pay a very large amount of money to have that charging board replaced. Uh, usually when I do that, I charge the cost of the item, plus 10% markup on it, because I had to order it. And then I also charge another $50 to $100, depending on how complex it is, to do that repair. So, you know, make sure that you're mindful of things like that, because those will break if you stretch them and put stress on them over and over again. Uh, you know, anything else about a laptop, you know, some basic stuff, uh, you know, back up your files, uh, set up your user account so you have an admin account that you never sign into with a user account that you always sign into. And when you need to do administrative tasks, just sign in or put in the password under the user account for the admin and it will let you complete administrative tasks. That'll stop things like viruses. Um, you know, things like that do go a long way and, you know, they're just great things to keep in mind. Uh, other things, keep things like pens and stuff away from the keyboard, adopt a policy of that. I've had to replace multiple laptop screens for people because they put their pen into their laptop and then they close the laptop and it cracks the screen. So something that you want to also avoid, uh, you know, dust, dirt, water, humidity, these are all things that you just logically want to, uh, you know, separate from laptops. Uh, other things to keep in mind, if you start noticing there's an issue, so for example, hinges on laptops, they tend to break, you know, where the laptop closes, where the hinges are, you know, they're moving and opening and closing and opening and closing hundreds, maybe thousands of times in the life of the laptop. So just be mindful of them, because 
If you start to notice that a hinge is sticking or, you know, kind of warping a little bit, you could bring it to a repair shop and ask them if they could just put a couple drops of oil in it. And I ask them to do it because if you spill oil inside your motherboard, that's not a good situation to have. Uh, so, you know, for the 40, 50 bucks, they might charge you to just put in a few drops. They might take it apart, you know, or even replacing the hinge before it does damage. Because if the laptop's not closing properly and it's putting stress on the laptop as it tries to close, you could end up cracking the screen, causing damage, stretching things, wearing things out, a lot of stuff like that. Um, anything else, you know, just don't have food and beverages around your laptop. I, I know it's meant to be portable and convenient, but if you're eating snacks while you're writing an essay, like, you know, you're typing, so you have crumbs that fall underneath the keys, the keys push the snacks down, and they get into the device. Um, you know, another repair that I've done is somebody spilled orange juice or orange soda or something orange inside of a laptop and the keyboard wasn't working. So I had to go in. Uh, it was a really easy fix, but if you're paying me, it's going to be 50 to to $100 to go in and take alcohol swab and just clean off a contact. Boom, 50 bucks, where it could have been easily avoided by just not having snacks or drinks or food around your laptop. Uh, so... You know, those are the basics. In the description, I'll leave a link to a cooling pad that I'm going to recommend. They're cheap, they're easy to use, and they're just wonderful devices for, you know, somebody who got a new laptop. Um, you know, I take care of my laptops, which means that they last between four and eight years. I have a laptop right now at home that's running that is seven and a half years old. Uh, it's still running strong. It looks brand new like the day I bought it. And it just works great because it's always on a cooling pad. It never heats up. It never has any issues like that. So uh, at one point, I did have to take it apart and replace uh, a certain type of like a liquid or a kind of like a gel that goes over the processor to the fan, uh, thermal paste. Again, that might be something that you could ask a computer repair shop to do to reapply thermal paste, uh, you know, just so you get a longer lifespan on the cooling mechanisms of your laptop. And, you know, one last thing I'm going to recommend is if you're traveling with your laptop, don't just stuff it in a suitcase. Put it in a padded laptop bag. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ones that exist. There's very large ones like this that are just great. You know, you can just put your laptop in. It's padded. It's soft. There's some foam in there. Uh, some book bags will have a laptop case in it as well. Do some shopping and see what you can find because uh, you'll find some pretty neat stuff and... Again, it's just protecting your components from things that can go wrong. So hopefully I've given you a few tips, and I'm wishing you the very best of luck with your brand new laptop. Thanks for asking.